Okay, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. It's another edition of the Daily Edification, the Daily Exhortation. Coming to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bar Shem, Yahweh Shai, Bar Shem, Rakakwadash. All praises and glory is due. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And that's very important to know, especially in these times. And uh, today's date is uh, Sunday, March 22nd. And um, you can feel the eerie calm that's out here. You know, it's like a calm before the storm, you know, and um, definitely the storm is on its way. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was uh, this guy, Alex Jones, who coined, uh, you know, martial law and all that comes with it. He coined the term terror storm. So that's what's on its way, you know, full lockdown, martial law, you know, civil unrest. To give you an example, earlier today I was, uh, let me bring up the scriptures. Earlier today I was at uh, Whole Foods, you know, buying some groceries to, you know, just in case they um, have full lockdown and I'm not able to uh, leave my home. <clears throat> so when I got there, I noticed there was a line, but the line wasn't too bad. So I decided I would, you know, Rather than try to go to another Whole Foods, I, I decided I'll just wait the line out. So I go, I, you know, I get to the line and there's people behind me talking. And um, I heard one lady said, yeah, they got this line out here because they got a policy in the store. No more than a certain number of customers and everybody got to stay six feet away from everybody. Some nonsense like that. So, you know, uh, they're letting a few people in the store at a time so uh one an, another person i didn't look back to see who, see who it was i'm just listening to that conversation uh another person said well i hope the people in there shop pretty fast because they you know that lets you know that person wanted to get in and get out pretty much that's the way i felt i wanted to get in and get out you know and um as I'm standing there waiting in the line, it suddenly dawned on me, how long is this going to be? You know, how long is, it, is this going to be until people flip out? Till, till civil, civil unrest creeps in, till people, you know, <laughs> start uh, attacking other people, you know, because they become impatient. And even one of the, uh, you had a few people outside that worked for Whole Foods, their job was to pretty much do what the police do, which is police the people. They had to let they, a couple of people they had out there. You could you could tell they worked for Whole Foods. They were intimidating looking. That's why they had them out there, and their job was to say no. You can't go in because when I got to when I got to the door, the, the one dude looked at me and said no. You can't go in yet. So I said okay, no problem. You know, standing there waiting. Then somebody came out. Then the dude looked at me. Okay, you can go in. Then the other dude asked me, Do you want a cart? I'm like uh, yeah. Yeah, let me get a cart, <laughs> you know. And then I went in and did what I had to do, and you could feel you could feel the air of tension, man. You could the tension was so thick you could cut it with a with an axe, okay. So the the question that was screaming in my mind is how long is that going to last before people just lose it and start attacking each other, okay? Because they're scared, you know. People you could see the, on people's faces they were scared, they were confused. You know, they didn't know, they didn't know what was going on. You, you could read their faces like a book, okay? As I walked through the store and I'm looking at people, and uh, you, could, you could see, especially the women, man, especially the women, okay? You could see the con confused look on their faces. You could see the anger. It was, it, it was like a <laughs> phone had to chime on that one. It was like a bottle of emotions, these people out here. And remember, these people out here are zombies, okay? They don't know what the hell is going on. All right, they're, they're the city of the dead, okay? As a matter of fact, um, let's bring in the scripture. Let's bring in the book of Proverbs 21 and 16. Because these people out here, they don't know what's going on. They really don't. But us that are in the faith, we that's in the truth, we know what's going on, okay? As it is written, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Who is Satan? The so-called white man. Now, remember years ago when we started teaching about the Illuminati, right? Back in 2007, 2008, you had this dude that was with Nate, uh, Barack Shah, right? Barack Shah, he made a statement, 
The Illuminati is not the truth. The Illuminati is not the truth. Well, guess what? The Bible teaches you about the Illuminati. And the Illuminati, which is one of the many names of the wicked elite, secret, secret wicked elite, they have a conspiracy. They have a plot. And that is basically to try to get back their birthright. And what does that mean? That means that they're going to try to enslave the majority of the people. And that includes, definitely includes us Israelites, which they will not be able to do. That's one of the reasons why Yahweh Shai is coming back, to liberate us, finally liberate us, totally liberate us from Esau. Do you realize that Yahweh Shai coming back is to liberate us from the clutches of Esau? That's why he's coming back. That's one of the main reasons. And to set up his kingdom on the planet Earth, which his kingdom, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai by default, is the kingdom of Israel. Okay? So no matter what these top wicked elite try to do, try to get back their birthright, they're never going to get back their birthright. You lost your birthright. I'm speaking to the top wicked elite. You lost your birthright all these years ago to our forefather Jacob. And that's that. Like the scripture have said, we are going to be your lords. Okay? Let's get that. I have made him thy lord. What our forefather Isaac said to the top, to uh, uh, Esau. Which is, the t which is the top elite today, man, Esau. And that's the Rothschild family, man. Uh, Genesis 27, okay, 27, around the 39th verse. Let me see. We're going to be your lords, and there's nothing you can do about it, Esau. Okay, you lost your birthright, and that's that. You had no discipline. Okay, and at the end of the day, it was all set up by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai. This is his movie. This is his production. Okay, I want to get to the point where it says. Okay, let me, Genesis 27 and 32. And Isaac, his father, said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled. This is, this is right after Isaac had already blessed uh, Jacob, who put, who, uh, Jacob, what's the word I'm looking for? Jacob came in, came in front of Isaac as Esau. You know, he had the hairy hands and you, you'd have to read the whole story. Okay. He, he, uh, that's how he supplanted Esau. Okay. He came to Jacob and, uh, even Jacob, I'm sorry, not Jacob, but Isaac, even Isaac said, well, the voice sounds like Jacob, but he has the hands of Esau. Then Isaac proceeded to give uh, who we thought was Esau the blessing, but it was really Jacob. And that was the whole nature of the, of, of the, the, the supplant, you know. Anyway, let, let me just read this. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, who? Who? Because <laughs> the reason why Isaac trembled, like I said, you'd have to read the whole thing. Um, Isaac trembled because he thought he blessed Esau when in reality he blessed Jacob. But Jacob was slick, you know, Jacob supplanted, um, you know, Esau out of his blessing. Uh, so Isaac goes, who? Where is he that have taken venison and brought it and brought it me? And I have eaten of all before thou camest and have blessed him. Yea, and he, sh and he shall be blessed. And who was that that he blessed? Jacob. Isaac blessed Jacob, which he thought was Esau, but it was really Jacob. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry and, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, my father. <laughs> now, now, here's the point. Here's the point. See, the re reason why I didn't read the whole thing, because I want to get to the point. Um, the 35th verse. And he said, Thy brother came with subtility and have taken away thy blessing. Let me read that again. Genesis 27, 35. That's what this is all about. This is what the, the top wicked elite, they're trying to get back their blessing. This is what this is all about. Okay, the, the, the phony cover story of the COVID-19 and the virus and all that, and the, which, scared, which makes the people scared and that justifies the, the military to come in and lock the people down and to send people to the concentration camps and to... All that nonsense goes back to Esau trying to get back their birthright. Believe it or not, okay? Anyway, uh, and he said, Thy brother came with subtility and have taken away thy blessing. 
And he said, is not he rightly named Jacob? Because what does the name Jacob mean? It means supplanter. That's a case of Norman Omen, which means name prediction, right? For he have supplanted me these two times. He, ha he took away my birthright. This is Esau speaking. He took away my birthright. And behold, now he have taken away my blessing. And he said, has thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord. So no matter what you do, you top wicked elite, we are still going to be your lords. You are, you are going to be our slaves. You are going to lose this so-called birthright that you're fighting for, this so-called new world order that you're fighting for. You're going to lose it. And it's going to start with your Hawishai. Well, it's going to start with the missiles and your Hawishai coming back with those chariots. Because Yahweh Shai is going to remove you out of rulership. And by the way, Yahweh Shai back then was Isaac. And it was Isaac that gave you your blessing, which if, if I keep reading, is going to go into the blessing that Isaac gave you, which is the sword, which is destruction. That's your blessing. Okay? And the Lord is going to only allow you, Esau, to, to destroy only but so much. Okay? All right? So let's read on. It says, And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord. And, and when are we going to be the lords over Esau? In our kingdom. In our kingdom, also known as the kingdom of heaven. That's when we're going to be the lords over Esau because Esau is going to be slaves to us, beginning with their top banking families. So that's when this prophecy is really going to be fulfilled, what we're reading here in Genesis 27 and 37. By the way, the word Genesis means beginnings. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord and all his brethren. Meaning what? All the tribes. Okay? All the tribes. The, the nation of Israel, as it were. Okay? I have made him thy Lord and all his brethren have I given to him for servants. And with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? <laughs> so, so you can forget about it, Esau. There's, there's, there's nothing you can do, okay? Now, that's the reason why Esau is going to come down with great wrath, which we're, we're in the beginning of that right now. And, you know, the, the, you know even beginning with Elder Apostle Taha, sometimes he'll say, well, uh, things may go back to normal. He, he, the big word is may. But, you know... We, we, you know, and even Apostle Elder Tal agree this, there's no way it can go back to normal. There's no way. Or whatever normal is. <laughs> there's no way, man. There's an air of, right now as I speak, there's an air of, 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 of fear. I mean, real fear. You can see it on the people's faces. And just like Elder Apostle Tal says, um, even if it so-called went back to normal, which, which it's not gonna, it's not gonna do, I think it's gonna escalate to the next level and the next level. But even so, people will be aware of it. So when it happens the next time, people will be aware. All right. So the the, the trick is to take the to, to move on these people unawares. Okay. And plus, let's not forget the the wicked elite has an agenda. They have an agenda, just like we have an agenda. They have satanic high holy days just like we have righteous high holy days and they do their works on these satanic high holy days now speaking of the satanic high holy days you got one coming up you got a major one okay which is april 19th to may 1st that's 13 days of the feast of baal who knows what's going to happen then okay so they got an agenda and they're sticking to it Okay, and furthermore, let's read Revelation 12 and 12. They know that it, they have a short time to enjoy the blessing that Isaac gave them, which is the sword, the sword of destruction, because that's what Esau's kingdom represents. Esau's kingdom represents destruction. Ever since Esau came into power, the earth has been heading to the what? To the brink of destruction. Why do you think our seas are polluted? Everything is polluted. Everything is fucked up. Why? Because you got a maniac in rulership, Okay. A maniac of destruction, a harbinger of death. Isn't that what the movie uh, Planet of the Apes called him? The harbinger of death? Well, there you go, man. That's what he represents, death, destruction. How long is that going to last? Even the prophet Habakkuk said that. Lord, how long? Okay? So we're, we're in the final stages of this coming to an end, this nightmare coming to an end. 
And honestly, and, and I, I say this with, with, with fierce velocity, okay? <laughs> honestly, I don't want to see it go back to normal. I don't, okay? I don't want to see it go back to normal. I want to see it escalate and move to the next level and move to the next level and move to the next level so we can get the hell out of here, man. All right? Okay? I don't want to see it go, go, go back to so-called normal. And what, what the hell is normal anyway? Okay? Earlier today, <laughs> the phone, again, charming boy. Earlier today, I was at Panera Bread. You know, the, the goddamn sodomite s served me, man. First of all, I couldn't even walk into, into the goddamn restaurant to order what I want. I had to go to the drive-thru, and at the drive-thru, there was a flaming sodomite, you know, serving the people, man. And I had no choice. I had to, I had to you know, be cordial with it, you know? <laughs> anyway, Revelation 12 and 12, let's read that, man. Revelation 12 and 12, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and, and the sea, and of the sea. And, and the beginning of woe is starting. We're, we're entering into something. We've always told you, brothers, about the time of Jacob's trouble. That's pursuant to Jeremiah 30 and 7. Well, guess what? We're entering into it right now. Another, 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 uh, uh, another point that proves things cannot go back to normal. There was a video circulating of a line of Humvees heading into the city of Chicago. And you had, you had a, the brother Mawatazak, he did a video, which I was watching it earlier. Let me see if I can see my, the videos I was watching. Let's go into the history. The brother Mawatazak, man, he did a beautiful video, man. A video, that video was on point of uh, this Jake who basically uh, he took his phone and he was recording a line of MVs being brought in on, on the train, okay? Did I say MVs? Humvees on the train. And what is that for? That is for the hour of martial law. A Humvee is what? A, mi a military vehicle, okay? And that's what they look like. They look like military vehicles. Okay, bear with me for a minute. See if I can find this video. The video that uh, the video that um, Mawatazak did. Okay, there it is, right here, brothers. It's called "The Hour of Temptation Draweth Nigh." Excellent video. Okay, and his channel is GMS Rock Solid Foundation. And there's a part in the video where he he, he goes into um, you know, uh, what I mentioned earlier about Esau's birthright, he touches on that. He also touches on uh, all those, uh, you know, when, well, you, you, he plays the part where the Jake, you know, the Jake is filming the, M the Humvees coming in. And the Jake was nervous. He said, what do they need all those Humvees for? What they need them for? They need them for the hour of martial law. And the hour of martial law means a lot of you so-called Negroes, a lot of you so-called West Indians, Puerto Ricans, you tribes in, in particular, a lot of you are going to get killed because you're going to be unruly. You're going to be. You're going to cause civil unrest. You're going to be, and they're, they're, the, the only solution is just shooting you down in the streets, mowing you down in the streets. Okay, and and the Bible scriptures support that. Okay. All, and at the end of the day, that's all part of the hatred that Esau has for Jacob. And Mwatzak went into that. So that's what they're there for. The enemy will come in as a flood, as it is written. Okay? Anyway, well, let's read that. This, this ties into it. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Woe means, woe means destruction. And of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you. Who's the devil? Esau, Edom, that's who the devil is, which is this so-called white man today, beginning with the top banking families. They're the devil personified, man. They're nothing but a bunch of psychopaths, okay? A bunch of murderous uh, psychopaths, demented, <laughs> destructive individuals, man. And, and they happen to be in power. And the reason why they're in power is because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, put them in power. That was their blessing. That's just go. Let's go right back to the same blessing that uh, Isaac gave Esau. There you go. 
So Esau is about to fully explore that blessing of destruction because that's what he's coming with. He's coming with destruction. That's why you saw those line of Humvees. You think they represent life? No, they represent destruction. They represent cordoning you off in these cities, which the majority of you Jakes are in, this, in these cities, in the ghettos. Okay? And here it is right here. It says, Woe the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. A short time for what? You should be asking yourself the question, a short time for what? A short time to enjoy his blessing, which is the blessing of destruction, going all the way back to our forefather Isaac that gave him that blessing. Which, by the way, Isaac came back in, in you know, well, Yahweh Shai back in his past life, let me say it that way, Yahweh Shai back in his past life was Isaac. So that's why it makes sense when Yahweh Shai comes back, and he's not coming back as a man, he's coming back as a power. Let's read that. When he comes back, he's going to revoke Esau's blessing. Okay? And he told Esau that. He said, I'm, I'm not going to meet you as a man. In other words, when I come back, you can forget about still being in power, Esau, because I'm going to revoke your power. It is right here, uh, I, uh, Isaiah 47, and, uh, and, and um, the prophets prophesied, it, the prophets prophesied what? The spirit of Yahweh Shai. The prophets prophesied the spirit of Yahweh Shai, okay? As a matter of fact, Isaiah 47 and 1, it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Who's that? That's Esau, Edom. Why are they called the virgin daughter of Babylon? Notice the term daughter. Because the same society that they, they rule, Esau, Edom, is based upon the principle, the principles of the ancient Babylonian society. Okay? Which the word Babylonia or Babylon means confusion. And that's what Esau is. Esau is nothing but confusion personified. All right, look at this. You don't believe me? Look at this system. That's why, like I said earlier, I was being served by what? A sodomite. This is an individual who thinks he's a woman, a man who thinks he's a woman. Okay? So that's the very word Babylon, which means confusion. And America represents Babylon. Okay? America, you're not going to see the term America in the Bible, but you better believe America is in the Bible. It's known as Babylon the Great. So it's also known as the virgin daughter of Babylon. So the scripture says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. This is talking about, this prophecy hasn't even happened yet. This is talking about when the Lord comes back and destroys the society. Okay? So Esau knows it's on the brink. Esau can see the signs. So they're going to hurry up with, with, with great wrath to try to set up their blessing, which is the so-called New World Order. And that's what, that's what this is all about. That's what the cover story, COVID-19, and there'll be other so-called viruses, to scare the people into not asking it too many questions and just accepting the status quo, which is their so-called New World Order, just blindly accepting it, based upon the pretext of this coronavirus. And there'll be, like I said, there'll be other viruses, okay? This is the beginning of the end, all right? That's the point. Anyway, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne because America is going to be destroyed totally by the missiles and Yahweh Shai. And there's plenty of scriptures to prove that. Okay? O daughter of the Chaldeans, which the Chaldeans was the, they were the elite of the Babylonian society, the ancient Babylonian society. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Yeah, that's what America is called. The lady of kingdoms. The Bible calls it the lady of kingdoms. You know? Anyway, take the millstones and grind meal, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, meaning the, the, the shame of America is being exposed. Uh, uncover the thigh, which is their history, how America, you know, all the, the, the wicked history of America, how, how it came into being. All of that is being exposed. That's what this means. This is a dark saying here. Isaiah 47 and 2, take the millstones and grind meal, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. So we're in that time right now. All the wickedness, all the skullduggery of America, how it, was, how it came into being by the so-called white man, all of that information is coming out. How America's really run, you know, the, the, what's really going on behind the scenes with the secret societies and the Illuminati and all of that nonsense, all of that is coming out. All their shame is coming out. Okay. That's what this means. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance. Who is this speaking? Who is this I will take vengeance? That's Yahweh Shai. 
And why does it say vengeance? Because of the way the so-called white man here treated the Lord's people, the Israelites. All right, the Israelites came over here into slavery, just like we came into slavery in ancient Egypt. That's why America is known as the modern day Egypt. Okay, so the Lord said, I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. That's the point. So our Lord is coming back as this great power and he's going to revoke Esau out of his power. So Esau knows that. So they're going to fight tooth and nail to try to set up their so-called new world order. And that's what all of this lockdown nonsense, that's what all of this is all about, believe it or not. That's what it's all about. So that's why Esau is going to move like a madman. And then there's a scripture in the Apocrypha which says, they shall be as madmen, sparing none. And we're about to approach that. Oh, this thing is, this thing is not going to go to bed. Oh, hell no. This thing is going to escalate. We're going to see medical martial law. We're going to see martial law. We're going to see medical martial law. We're going to see forced lockdowns. Meaning you got to stay in your home. If you're caught out in the streets, there you go. Either you get arrested or you get killed. We're going to see that. Okay? We're going to see curfews. Okay? All what we told you back in 2007, we're about to see it in living color, man. Okay? And that is why the Lord told us to watch as well as pray. Right? Watch as well as pray. So pretty much, I'm going to end it there. I don't think I have too much to say right now. It's, it's a thing of doing videos. Uh, man, we're in the time where you could do a video <laughs> by the hour, man. You know, depending on what. It doesn't have to be long, you know. You know, we don't need no no high no high uh, production. We just, you know, just get right to the information, get right to the point. That's the time we're in, you know. So, uh, you know, that <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, hopefully you were edified by this video. And, um, well, like I said, it's on to the next one, you know, <laughs> which may be very, very soon. <laughs> anyway, shallow one for now to the Lord's elect.